But this will enable owners of the Sony FX series cameras to utilize Blackmagic RAW recording through Video Assist and all of the capability and the performance of Blackmagic RAW into DaVinci Resolve for high quality cinematic recording. Blackmagic just had the single biggest announcement for, well, for Sony users. Now, in my daily scroll of the internet, I came across a link and it's at IBC talking to one of the Blackmagic design engineers, which ironically, I had a chat with about the Blackmagic Pixis. Currently in development right now is going to be the ability for the Sony FX6 and the FX9 to externally record Blackmagic RAW to a video assist, which is a gigantic step that Sony actually didn't make. Now, right now, the Sony FX6 and the Sony FX9 don't have a RAW format, unless you're recording to an Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. However, if you've ever used that, the ProRes RAW doesn't directly work on DaVinci Resolve. You have to convert it to Cinema DNG, then load it into DaVinci Resolve, which takes a little bit of time, it's a bit tedious, and just adds an extra step, and as well, you have to pay for the license to do that whole process in the first place. Now, with Blackmagic RAW being in the Blackmagic Assist, being HDMI recorded and externally recording from an FX6 or an FX9, not only takes away that entire step, but Blackmagic RAW just works better on DaVinci Resolve anyways. We've been asking for some of the FX line cameras to have a RAW format internally. Now, it still isn't there, but using a Blackmagic Assist is a little bit better than using an Atomos Ninja 5 because you don't have the extra steps. As someone who's used the FX6 extensively, almost until the wheels have fallen off, and sold it for a red camera, one of the big draws of getting a red was going to be that RAW codec. Now, Blackmagic RAW and Red RAW aren't necessarily the same thing, but it feels like since Nikon bought Red, everyone's a little bit more brazen with how they're coming out with different RAW formats. And what's really cool is that the fact that now you can use Blackmagic RAW on a program that already natively works really well with it, on a camera that objectively works really, really well. Now we have a great autofocusing camera that's full frame, interchangeable lenses, built-in NDs, and a RAW format. This is actually really nice. I do have regular scheduled videos coming up, but I wanted to stop everything I'm doing and come out with this one to tell you, hopefully first, that the future is looking bright for the FX line of cameras. So much so that maybe we don't necessarily need an update for one for a couple more months, although everybody's still waiting for one. But let me know what your thoughts are down below in terms of the Blackmagic RAW, but let me know what your thoughts are down below in terms of the Sony FX6 and the FX9 finally having some sort of RAW that's workable. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Regular videos are tomorrow. Peace.